I think it was over rehearsed and he's kind of concentrating on exactly the thing which his advisors would rather we weren't all concentrating on which is whether or not Ed Miliband is odd and weird because that has become a thing he's had to address it and he's talking about it but you know the, the dramatic pauses for comedy effect in that speech were so badly timed you could eat a bacon sandwich in the gap <laughs> he's not helping himself I mean yes it diminishes politics if you reduce it just to being about image but if you don't have image and a message it's not going to work and he needs to realise that that's the basic thing which he's missing he doesn't have the charisma the gravitas that you need to be a statesman well, I don't think many politicians are particularly good at, at telling jokes are they Mark but is he right to kind of like hit the hit the nail on the hammer or the hammer on the nail here because you know it is an issue isn't it and might as well highlight it absolutely no? I mean I don't think that anyone would deny that it is an issue I don't think Ed Miliband can make it go away I think you've got two fundamental choices in a situation like this he can either run around spending time taking photo ops trying to be uh, the conventional uh, leader type. Which is what he says the opposition which is what, does. It's what he says the opposition does. And also he accepted today that's what he's tried to do in the past. Or he can be himself. He can accept that not every photo of Ed Miliband will be good. Not every uh, photo opportunity is going to be great. Not every interview will be shouldn't, fine. Shouldn't he be himself, Susie? Well, this is what he's kind of messed up today. He's saying that he's done this in the past. That's what he's done today. He's had a photo opportunity event which has been very rehearsed. I mean, this man has had media training coming out of his ears and he still can't quite carry it off. Um, he's making it more of an issue by talking about it in this way. The problem is that he's not really someone who's going to be imbued with the right kind of gravitas and dignity in order to be a statesman. The trouble is he's up against David Cameron, who's already in the job. He looks statesmanlike because he is a statesman. But when you put David Cameron compared him to Gordon Brown or Tony Blair, he, he looked much worse. Ed Miliband is looking worse than all of them, and he's probably not going to be able to win the election. He just doesn't have the right ideas or the message or the image. Pretty harsh, Mark. I disagree with that. I mean, I think that the the point that Ed Miliband wants to get across, the question that he wants to see asked is, what do people think is more important? Who looks better eating but, a bacon sandwich? But are sandwich people or listening who's... to him, though? Because the well, problem is they get detracted, don't they? Very well, look, all we're thinking what about I... is, is how he looks eating a bacon sandwich. Yeah, but look, I, I, he's yeah, failed. Because we're reminded of I think, I think Ed Miliband would be quite happy today to hear everybody talking about what modern leadership looks like. Because we can either have this sort of Margaret Thatcher, Tony Blair view of, uh, which David Cameron apes at times, trying to achieve that statesman-like look. I mean, for example, uh, Ed Miliband went to see Barack Obama this week. All of the talk in the media was about the photo. None of the conversation was about the 25-minute discussion about international issues. I think what Ed Miliband wants to see, both as an opposition leader and I hope as prime minister, is to change that kind of conversation.